this morning and we say that he reigns. He reigns over all the earth. He reigns over everything. All of creation is his. The Bible says the earth is Lord and the fullness thereof. The Lord reigns. Amen. So as we sing, stand up on your feet and let's worship our God this morning. Amen. The Lord reigns forever. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. The Lord reigns over everything, over you and I. He created the heavens and the earth. He reigns. Say he reigns. You reign over everything. You reign. Reign. You reign. My God, he reigns. You reign. In my God, he reigns. You reign. He reigns over all the earth. You reign. His throne is in the heavens. You reign. Your name. 
sing forevermore. Lord, you reign, reign forevermore. Come on and help me say, Lord, you reign, yes, you reign, reign forever. You reign forever. Lord, you over reign all the earth. forevermore. God, you reign. Lord, you reign. Hey, yeah. reign forevermore. And Jesus, he reigns. Lord, you reign. Yes, he reigns. Reign he does. forever. Yes, he reigns. Lord, you reign forevermore. Lift up his name. Lord, you reign. Exalt your name as forever, Lord. Lord you reign over reign all the earth, and we declare in the house that there's no God Lord, greater than you, you are. So we open our mouth and we say that you reign. Lord. You will reign forevermore. For the last time, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Yes, you reign. Reign forever. Yes, you reign, oh Lord, God. You reign over all the earth. Jesus, our heart for Jesus. My heart to you. I surrender my life. Lord, you reign. Oh, I lift my hands to you. My heart to you. I surrender my life. Lord, Lord you reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Every child is an army. There's an army. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, I welcome every one of you here this afternoon. Because I believe the presence of God is here. And is here to do dramatic things in our life. Because he said I will do a new thing. Things that I have not seen and mouth have not spoken about. People of God, I want to assure us this afternoon that the Lord of Christ Glory International Ministry is an awesome God. There is no impossibility in Him. If God can remember that man that does not have belief in him, how much more we that of his household? Choir, you help me sing that song again. Because by singing this song, it's a confirmation of the authority and power of Almighty God. To do that which men cannot give explanation for.
if you believe that by singing that song, if truly you sing, you sing that song. If you believe that by singing that song, every shackle and every shame that is binding you up or that has bound you up has begun to, to, to break and give way for your victory. Shout hallelujah. Oh Lord, our everlasting Father, at this moment, I cry unto you for your word says, cry unto me on the days of your trouble, and you will answer me. Lord God, I cry unto you this day concerning every one of us in this gathering, including me. Let our heaven be open unto us in the name of Jesus. Hey, the Bible says announcement was given from heaven. And the angel of God said, Zechariah, your prayer has been answered. I decree every prayer is answered today in the name of Jesus. By the authority of spoken words, every heart desire is fulfilled today in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. People of God, I welcome every one of us to the presence of God. It is wonderful to be in the presence of God. A man like us is, is better to live in the house of God than to live in the uh, multitude of, uh, you know, prince, king, and all those uh, people of high places that cannot take you to anywhere. I want you to please... Pay attention to the words of God that is coming to us today. And the title says, The Silence is Broken. I don't think we understand that. If God is silent for one second in the life of men, there will be commotion everywhere. I say again, The Silence is Broken. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the maker of heaven and earth, he that has determined by himself the best way to communicate with his people. Because communication is the soul of business. And without cancer, people of God do fail. And in the multitude of cancer, the people of God prospers. But I want you to join me today by opening our Bible to the book of Hebrew. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 says, God at various times and various ways spoke in the past to the fathers by the prophets. There was a time whereby God was speaking to his people through prophets. The angel of God will come. The angel of God came to Father Abraham. Noah heard the voice of God. Father Abraham was visited by angel. Moses was spoken to by God mouth to mouth. The prophet of God was sent to his people on and on and on and on. This happens to be the venue and the choice by which God decides to speak to his people. But today's message is coming to us because the Lord wants to enlighten the eye of our understanding as it, was, it is stated in the book of Ephesians. People of God, if you don't know what to do, when it's time to do something, one will just be a looker. And as uh, my friend's teacher always says, why others are doing something and you don't know what to do, and you are only looking, he will tell you, don't be a looker, find something to do. We need to know, as Christians, that there was a time 
in the life of people of God, that there was no communication whatsoever between God and men. And can we imagine how the whole world or how the life of those people will be? The Bible says in the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 6, that the Lord is sending Elijah ahead of time before the coming of Jesus Christ. That was the last time the people of God heard from God through his, uh, his prophet. No visitation from heaven. From the angel. The heaven was literally, the communication system of the heaven was shut off from men. Everything was shut down. Nobody was hearing anything. Those that are praying, they continue to pray without any response. Those that know how to go after their own idols, they kept on doing whatever they want to do. But God is always in the affair of men because he has decreed, I will not leave you nor forsake you. People of God, let us read some passages. Now the Bible says in the book of Isaiah that we read, it said, I have had my peace a long time. A long, when God says a long time, it means it's long. And those that are supposed to be having a relationship with God that God said a long time, it is something, those that were in the wilderness, can, if they, are, they live to tell the story, I know that <laughs> we will, when God says long time, we will know that it is time for us to sit tight. Between the book of Malachi to the book of, uh, 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 to the New Testament, according to the theologians, they said, it was 400 years that there was no communication between God and his people in any form. In any form, there was no communication. But God is saying now that I have had my peace a long time. I have been still and refrained myself. Now, I will cry like a woman in labor. God has seen that his silence towards us is not doing us any good. The torment is just too much. The persecution is too much. The limitation, in fact, the manifestation of God's promises for men is not coming up. And those unbelievers are now beginning to, to say, where is their God? There is no help from their own God. He cannot help them. But people of God today, I am assuring you that the silence is broken. I am assuring you that what seems to be that God is not speaking on your behalf, the silence is totally broken. And your heaven is open. In fact, it says our gate will continuously be open. And I decree by his authority that today our gates will always be open in the name of Jesus. Yeah. But we need to know that why these people are going through this situation. Will all of them be thinking the same way? Must we think the same way or must we set ourselves apart? We as Christians we need to understand that regardless of what is going on, the Lord is in operation. He will not cease from doing his work. Though our attitude may, may make us, make him, or make us to feel that God is not listening to us. Turn with me to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1. Verse 6 says, The Bible is talking about a man that has been through, he has taken part of that 400 years. 
of no divine communication, no angelic visitation, no miracle, no prophetic word from anybody. He kept on doing that which he knows to do, which is the best thing. There are criteria that we need to meet to attain the promise of God for our lives. God is, cannot be mocked. As much as he gives us the grace, there is general grace. There is special grace. Most of us, at times, we are only enjoying general grace. But there are some special and unique grace that is meant for special occasion and special reason. It's only that we need to tap into it. And according to the book of Luke, the Bible says, Zachariah was a priest. Let us see the kind of man that Zachariah was. Verse says, and Oh, no, I'll start from verse 5. I apologize. There was in a day of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was a daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous. Can you please repeat with me? And they were both righteous. Before God. Their righteousness is not before men. Their righteousness was before God. You can do anything to please men. You can do anything to draw men's attention. You can do anything. In fact, there are some uh, uh, activities without productivities. You can jump, walk on your head, Leap like a frog. And at the end of the day, to God is nothing. But in this case, the Bible is making it known to us that this man was a righteous man to God. And he says further, walking in all the commandments, not one commandment now, all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. Now, we all want to enjoy the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We want deliverance. We want healing. We want breakthrough. We want fulfillment. We want manifestation of God's blessing upon us. In fact, we always want God to give us the power to make wealth. Forgetting that God spoke with his son, his friend, Abraham said, Abraham, walk perfectly and blameless before me. Walk righteous as this man was walking before God. Yes. So it is essential for us as Christians, if we want to experience divine communication of God continuously in our lives, we must walk righteously before God. We must obey his commandments. And we must be blameless. The Bible says this man and his wife, not the man alone now. The wife and his wife. They were blameless. They were righteous before God. In fact, their situation was just like a replica of Abraham's situation. But something is missing in their life. And I know as we are all sitting there, even including me standing before you, something is missing in our lives. We need something. We will always need something. Because our life is like life of Oliver Twist. That is always asking for more. Solomon had everything. But he was still asking for more. People of God. We need something in our lives. Some, as we are sitting down. Your need might be divine breakthrough. Some, your need might be the gift of Holy Spirit. Some, it might be the, the, the fruit of Holy Spirit. To some, it might be healing. To some, it might be breakthrough. To some, it might be children. 
To some, it might be marriage. To some, it might be academic excellence. To some, it might be money. I know to many, don't let me say some now. To many or to all, it might be uh, money. Because the Bible says money answers all things. And everybody wants to carry money in their pocket. Amen. People of God. In the case of Zacharias and his wife, their need was a baby. They have no kid. And let us read forward. Verse 7 says, but they had no child because Elizabeth was barren. Meaning that it was declared barren. She cannot make baby. She cannot carry baby. Maybe the womb is not just there. But the Lord that this man is serving, which we are also serving, there is no impossibility in God. All he needs to do is to speak his words. And there will be creativity of things that needs to be created. And I am declaring to you this afternoon that the anointing of creativity of God will rest upon us all today in the name of Jesus. The power that breathes life into the dry bone will rest upon us this afternoon in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, now, with this problem, with this problem, with this problem, Zachariah does not wave from his service to the Lord. We as human beings of our own type and our own time, we only remember God when he's good. But on the odd day, we don't want to have anything to do with God. And on the other hand, when we are in trouble, and we have run from one end of the world to the other end. In fact, some of us will go into the space seeking help. We will realize that now we can come to God. People of God. We need to be steadfast with God. The Bible says this man happened to be a priest. And he continues to do what he is ordained to do. We are all ordained to do some one or two things for God. Especially that Lord that has brought you into his presence in this ministry. You are not to come to this church to warm bench. That church, this church does not need a bench warmer. This church needs active men and women of God. There is no room for sleeping partnership in this ministry. But there is room for everyone that is willing to work for God and to his glory. The Bible says he kept on serving. And why it was his turn to minister in the holies of holies, where it is a very dangerous place for a priest himself to go into. Let us thank God for his grace. Wave your hand, thank God. Thank God. The reason why we are thanking God for his grace is this. The Bible says when, God, when Jesus gave up the ghost, the curtain was broken into pieces, giving us an entrance into the holies of holies, whereby you need no man, whereby you need no animal, whereby you need no sacrificial of anything to enter into the presence of God. You need no mommy to man. You can easily walk. Lord, I have come to you today, and this is my situation. I praise you, I honor you, because I know you will do it, and you must do it. He says, honor me. We have been given the grace to honor God to do things for us. If truly, we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he says, whatsoever we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall have it. What is it in you? Is it kidney problem? Heart problem? Intestine problem? Brain problem? Joint problem? That you have that you cannot speak to? The authority has been given to you. Because the heaven is open unto you, the silence time has passed. And 
And all you need to do is that you learn to decree. Because he says you shall decree a thing. And it shall come to pass. Amen. Now, the table is turning to the best and wonderful way. The Bible says, why this man was serving God faithfully and righteously. It was his turn to serve in the holies of holies, whereby if you are going there, they will tie shame and bear on their uh, clothes. Because if slight mistake, is gone. It's dead. It's dead. No, no, no mercy. We thank God for the mercy of God upon us through the Lord Jesus Christ. While he was there ministering, now, the opportunity for us to maximize, maximize our relationship with God, which will make our heavens to be broken and abundance will begin to come into our lives, depends on the way we serve God. People of God, that is one of the secrets. Depends on the way we serve our God. If you are the one that God will give something and you will hold it to yourself, no. Uh, you, to, to continue to have, it's not going to work. This guy was serving God with everything in him. And it was his portion to serve in the holies of holies, whereby it only comes once in a year. As he entered to make his sacrifice, suddenly, suddenly, something that, had, that has never happened for 400 years happened. There was a presence of an angel standing at the right hand. And he heard a voice, Zachariah. You know that when, in those days when they hear the voice of angel or when they see angel, it's a death sentence. Yes, they will tremble and die. But if it's in a righteous way, nobody dies. Uh, prophet uh, Isaiah says, because I have seen angel, I have seen the Lord, I'm going to die. Moses saw, uh, he said, uh, um, how do I put it now? Mona, the mother of, uh, the, uh, the father of Saul, uh, Samson, said, surely we are going to die because we have seen the angel. That was the order of their relationship with God then. But in this case, in this case, it's a unique situation. Whereby an announcer was sent to the servant of God that today everything that was silenced about you has been broken and there must be manifestation of my power upon your life by making you to be fruitful. If you, want to, if you are looking for the blessing of womb, lay your hands upon it. Or you are believing God for the blessing of womb for anybody, lay your hands upon it. Because the power that descended that day is around here and is here. It's upon this altar. It's upon the edge of this ministry to fulfill if only you believe. Lord, by your authority, I decree the angel that announced to Zachariah that this day you have had his prayer and he will have a son of his own which will become the joy to the whole world. By that authority, I announce that you will carry your own baby in the name of Jesus. Those that you are believing God for, they will carry their own baby in the name of Jesus. People of God, suddenly God breaks his silence. New things begin to happen. Drastic things started happening. Suddenly, the heavens opened. There began angelic visitation. Revelation of God's prophecy begins to materialize. Because it was spoken 400 years ago by Malachi, that Elijah shall come as a forerunner for the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Elijah that came was John the Baptist. And John happens to be the joy to his family and to the whole world. You all will name John in the name of Jesus. Amen. The barrier is broken. Amen. The barrier is broken. Amen. The barrier is broken. Amen. And this happens to be an open door to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And when Jesus came now, now God now established everlasting and constant communication system with men that you don't need to run. You can stay in your room and talk to God. You can stay in your toilet and talk to God. You can, you can go underneath the sea 
and talk to God. In fact, you can enter into your shoe and, uh, and talk to God. You can enter into your, uh, into your car and lock the car and talk to God. Everywhere you can talk to God. It's like uh, a medicine back in our uh, village here yeah, in Nigeria. Uh, uh, BOD medicine. So anywhere you can use it. Jesus has become the only source of communication center that cannot go down. If there is wind, storm, rain, two weeks ago there was snow. Suddenly the uh, internet, everything just went down. I, I look at it and say, ah, God catch these people. God's communication cannot be cut off. In fact, you cannot hold them, to hold God to the extent that He will cut it off. It will always increase your credit on your line. There is no limitation to your credit. Your data system is unlimited. They say you, you can carry over now. AT&T is doing a carry over now. But in this case, it's because you don't have enough that you will need to carry over. This one is everlasting to everlasting. It has been established. The most drastic and the most important, most special, and most unique event of redemption manifested when Jesus came to the service of the earth. Don't forget, in the book of Isaiah, it was decreed that the son is given unto us and the kingdom of God is on his shoulder. That was about 700 years before the manifestation of Jesus Christ himself. Now, let us see what we have in the Lord so that we will know how to apply all these resources to our situation. The Bible says in the book of John, please turn with me to the book of John. We are rounding up. We are rounding up, please. And it says, John chapter 1, I'm sorry. John chapter 1. But as many as received, chapter 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name. To those who believe in his name. To those who believe in his name, what is it that you are going through that the name of Jesus is not sufficient for you about? If the name of God is sufficient for a dying man, my brother just testify now. He's not a prophet, ordained prophet. He's not ordained pastor, not an evangelist, not a deacon. But God has given him the grace through the power of God in this ministry to exercise the gift of God in his life and to prove to unbeliever that there is power in the blood of Jesus. That at the mentioning of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every neighbor and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. The Bible says, Oh, you grave, where is your strength? And death, where is your power? People of God, if the grave cannot contain Jesus Christ, and he said, I have called you my friend, a co-hire. Not, you are not just a Christian now. You are a co-hire of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our advocate. He sits before God in the presence of God and is speaking on our behalf. That is why our communication system can never be shut down. That is why there is no more silence. Because Jesus Christ is constantly speaking on our behalf. If you believe today that everything that you have brought before God this afternoon, God will hear you. Amen. Let us rise up. Ah. We, we are getting up as if we don't believe. <laughs> if you believe, you're supposed to jump like a soldier. Ah. The song that we render said, 
A soldier is rising up. Ah, a soldier don't just say uh, slowly. You get up like a soldier. People of God will sing this song. And while we are singing this song, please focus on your situation. I have a belief. I don't, ha I don't expect you to wait until you have been touched by men before you feel the touch of God. Because if Jesus can send his word and it heals, not only that he heals, he raised the death. How much more you that you gather in his presence. People of God, all you need to do is to believe. You have heard that you need to be righteous before God. You need to obey his commandment. And you need to be blameless. As God spoke to Father Abraham before he started manifesting his life. Uh, in his life. Every situation that you brought before God. That I also brought before God. I have mine. No one is immune from it. For the Bible says, all I've seen have come short of the glory of God. But we thank Jesus. You will cry, you will shout with me now to confirm that the silence is broken. You say the silence is broken. The silence is broken. The silence is broken. Now the miraculous power of God must begin to manifest in my life. And as you sing this song, believe God that God will touch you and do that which he must do in your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Oh, oh that, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of men, for his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of men, he has broken the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. For his goodness and for his wonderful work To the children of men, to the children of men He has broken the gate of God And cut the bars of iron asunder He has broken the gate of God And cut the bars of iron asunder Amen We have only one prayer point which is going to be like a branch of a tree. And you will use it the way you want it. You will cry unto the Lord with one voice. And ask God. That oh Lord my God. Let every yoke. Let every yoke in my life. Be broken into pieces. As you have opened the windows of heaven concerning me today, let every yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I cry unto you this day. Let every yoke in my life, yoke of limitation, yoke of poverty, yoke of lack, yoke of suffering, yoke of hard labor, yoke of... Uh, of our successfulness. Father, Lord, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of sickness be broken out of my life in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of captivity, captivity break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of limitation, break in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. People of God, I need you to join me to pray one prayer point to God concerning the Glory Center. Yesterday there was announcement about this ministry. 
that we are limiting God because we believe that all we can do is to repair that building. When that word came that we are limiting God because all our belief is to, 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 to uh, repair. Whereby God that is full of power and everything is in his possession can bless his church to the extent that everything will be demolished and he will start afresh. Because the Lord that we serve is a fresh God. is a God of new beginning. He said, do not put a new wine in an old bottle. People of God, you will pray concerning this ministry. Lord, it is our thought as human beings, which is not wrong, that we are limited to what we can do. But you are unlimited God. There is no impossibility in you and with you. The glory center is committed to your hand. Lord, this year, ah, from west, from east, from north, from south, from your heaven, from Zion, Lord, raise help to build this ministry. We want something new. We don't want to do pash pash. We don't want to, to sew new garment to the old one. We want something new because our Lord is new every day. So you will cry to the Lord. And as you pray that prayer, the newness of God will begin to manifest in your life too because the Bible says those that water must be water also. So let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord our God, we cry unto you. Mighty and everlasting Father, unlimited God. Lord God of suddenly, we call upon you, Lord Jesus. Descend, O oh Lord, send yourself from your throne, from west, from east, from south, oh, from north, O oh Lord, to come and build Christ's glory, glory center for us in the mighty name of God. We want a new thing, O oh Lord, because you said you will do a new thing. Father, do it, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. O oh Lord, our everlasting Father, blessed, honor, adoration, majesty, and your name. For indeed you are God and you are Lord over our lives. That which you have done today, mighty and everlasting Father, it is because it manifested physically in the life of Zachariah. That is why we are telling this story. Lord God, let there be physical manifestation of your authority in the life of your people in the name of Jesus. Amen. That your testimony, that testimony will abound in Christ's glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we bless you. We glorify you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.